Four found dead in U.S. tennis stars burned Florida home. Four bodies have been found in the burned home of former tennis star James Blake in the U.S. state of Florida. The unidentified victims were found by firefighters early on Wednesday after responding to reports of a blaze. He was one of the top-ranked tennis players in the world in 2006, retiring from competition in 2013 after a 14-year career. Former executive, his wife and two children found dead with heavy-duty fireworks strapped to their heads after raging fire at tennis star James Blake's rented 1.5 million Florida mansion. Police sources in Tampa identified four people found dead this morning in a raging fire at tennis star James Blake's mansion as Darren Campbell, his wife Kimberly and their teenage children Colin and Megan. While there was no official confirmation of the victims, public records list Campbell and his family, a well-known businessman in the South Florida area, as living at the home Blake was renting out. The four bodies were recovered from the burnt-out home but have yet to be officially identified. The 7,600-square-foot home million-dollar home, located inside the exclusive Avila Golf and Country Club north of downtown Tampa, went up in flames around 6 a.m. A Hillsborough County Sheriff's spokesman said, We have just been given the all-clear to go into the property. The bodies are still in there. Neighbors in the exclusive cul-de-sac also said a family of four lived in the home. M.R. Camel's mother confirmed to Mail Online that her son was living in the home owned by James Blake. Blake, who retired from professional tennis last year, was reportedly at his Connecticut residence at the time of the fire. According to TMZ Sports, the family had been living in the house for a little more than a year and kept to themselves. Both children. Colin, 19, and Megan, 16, attended Carrollwood Day School, and the principal reportedly said this afternoon that they will be missed. Guards were posted at the front gate, turning away visitors, Fox 13 reported. According to her Twitter, Megan has just yesterday won an academic award at the school. It's unclear whether the four people found dead in the house were killed by the fire or some other cause. TV reporter Mirdith Sensolo, most recently of ABC, tweeted that the victims had gunshot wounds to the head. In a follow-up tweet, she cited a source as saying the bodies found in the burning mansion had heavy-duty fireworks wrapped around their heads. Darren Campbell was reportedly found dead on the floor, and Kimberly in a bed. It's not clear where the children were found. Sensolo tweeted that several gas cans were found on the second floor of the mansion. Campbell, 51, has held a number of senior jobs with South Florida-based companies after graduating from Michigan University. His most high-profile position was with PODS the company that makes portable storage containers. Based in Clearwater, he was chief executive of the company for just under three years. Campbell who is originally from Detroit, Michigan, began his career in 1992 at Ford Motor County, according to an article in Indiana The Tampa Bay Times. He worked in various financial positions, principally financial analysis before moving to San Antonio, Texas as chief financial officer for the Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer Company. In 2000 he relocated to Tampa and joined Anchor Glass Container Co. as Senior Vice President of Sales, leaving as Chief Executive to join Pods. He later joined Tampa-based Ivan's Insurance Solutions but left three years ago. A spokesman for the company said they did not believe he had a job to go to when he quit the company. In a 2005 profile of Campbell the Tampa newspaper said he and his wife had their honeymoon at Disney World in Orlando. Campbell said he and his family visited the theme parks in the area about a half dozen times a year. Officials confirmed they had received reports of gunshots but they said the fire could have set off the rounds. The fire broke out before 6 a.m. and Hillsborough County Fire Rescue crews rushed to the scene. Hours later, firefighters were still there putting out hot spots at the home. It could be days before detectives are able to sift through the charred debris. Officials said. 
The cause of the fire is still under investigation, and it is too early to determine if it is suspicious, police said. Blake purchased the home in Avila for $1.5 million in 2005, according to Hillsborough County property records. Neighbors told detectives that Blake hasn't lived in the house for a while and was renting it out, police said. Detectives haven't talked with Blake, whose agent said he was certain Blake was not in Florida. He's not in Florida, I can tell you 100% that he's not in Florida, Carlos Fleming told the Associated Press. It's in the back part of Avila, the million-dollar homes. It's a massive home said Nicole Rivette, a spokeswoman for Hillsborough Fire Rescue. The sheriff's office said they are concerned about losing evidence to the fire. Blake's next-door neighbor reportedly told TMZ Sports that he heard several large explosion in early this morning and saw an instant fireball inferno when he went outside to check it out. He said the sound seemed to be coming from the garage of Blake's house. They added that detectives may not be able to even enter the remains of the home until Thursday, due to structural damage. This will delay the official identification of the victims. Once it is safe to enter, investigators will likely be on site for days gathering evidence. Avila is an exclusive enclave north of Tampa known for its mansions and heavy security. Many well-known athletes call the community home and over the years, Various football, baseball and tennis players have bought homes in the subdivision, which has a country club and golf course. Blake, 34, was ranked fourth on the ADP World Tour in 2006. He has a two-year-old daughter with wife, Emily. He established the James Blake Foundation, an organization dedicated to cancer research, in memory of his father who died of gastric cancer.